Jeffrey Jackson, who in 2015, Jeffrey, uh, during the SB 277, when the bill was actually being uh, visited by the Senate, and it was they were deliberating, it was the Judiciary Committee, the, um, the Health Committee, all these different groups were trying to decide if this bill was constitutional and all these different uh, aspects of it. And there was uh, footage coming out from the Capitol. And, mm -hmm. and you can go online, the government website there, and watch it. It was very boring, uh, low-resolution footage. And you, uh, you must have went through hours of footage and found uh, evidence of Senator Pan, really just footage of him directly turning and talking to somebody. And, and you broke the story that it was actually somebody, uh, a lobbyist from the pharmaceutical industry, I believe. And I, I remember seeing you on uh, Infowars.com and you kind of launched me into the battle because uh, you pointed out that there were thousands of people and I remember thinking, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a father soon and I wasn't seeing it on the news and I really wanted this story to get out. So I went out there with my camera and started covering it. And so uh, you inspired me to take action uh, as a... Uh, private activist and uh, thank you for that but if you want to just kind of share your story how you found that that information and and what you've done since then and, and where where it's all taken you yeah uh, I've, I've been a, a independent investigative journalist for uh, about five years now and uh, I've written about a lot of stuff but when they came down on uh, California with SB 277 I was in constant contact with with families with parents and mothers and fathers that were on the ground and they were feeding me information and I was watching the videos, the raw footage of those videos, and Pan was looking over at lobbyists when he was asking, uh, when, when they were asked if they wanted to vote on the bill at that time, and he was taking his orders essentially from lobbyists. And uh, that was at a time when, oh, about 5,000 parents were outside protesting. So what, what that was actually saying when he was doing that was he was ignoring the 5,000 parents saying that we don't want this bill, SB 277, passed. He would rather look at his lobbyists, which are probably donating or paying money from the pharmaceutical uh, companies that he's uh, that he's taking money from, so that you look at them and uh, take the marching orders from them. Well, you, I mean, it's not like they wear a name tag, so you must have done some research. You you probably asked yourself, you know, who's this guy that Pan keeps turning over to, right? Yeah, that, that's 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 the part of the, the journalism thing. You just do a lot of digging, and um, you'll find them. And it's the information age, so all the information's out there. So um, if, uh, if we're lucky enough to have Pan watch this. We're watching you. Yeah, so, uh, you know, they, they can't really hide. I mean, you got the Google mm -hmm. image search. So you can find find out who these people are, yeah. these uh, agent provocateurs in, in, in the protest, people, you know, lobbyists working or colluding with, uh, you know, legislator, bribing them. Who knows? I mean, all the crazy stuff that you read about in, you know, these novels, but it really does happen. You know, those stereotypes are based on, I think, real stories and things that happen. Yeah. Yep. And, and we had uh, pork, pork barrel legislation. All these, these, uh, you know, these bills or these laws that are uh, tacked onto other bills. So you, as a journalist, especially in, in, in the information age today, you really do have to be out there digging. Are there any other stories that you're working on right now? Well, I'd like to say that uh, the, the, the biggest stories really is what I'm talking to right now. It's, it's independent media, independent journalism. Um, I wouldn't have had that story on Pan unless the, the citizen journalists were taking pictures of all the people in that room. So I was looking at their footage, actually, and their pictures. So it's the people that are recording this stuff in real time. We're trumping the mainstream media. So the mainstream media has become kind of irrelevant, and they're actually becoming, uh, they've always been dangerous, but they're becoming very dangerous now because they're framing the stories around these vaccine issues. So it's the independent media, the writers and the voices and the camera people on the ground that are breaking these, these stories way before the mainstream can even spin them. So it takes, it takes the power out of their spin. Um, we have a step further now. We have the technology to do this. So we have the smaller cameras, the high definition cameras. And even from an internet standpoint, we have blockchain technology. We have encryption, which will help uh, with the whistleblowers. If people want to come out and become whistleblowers, they will become protected. Uh, and I you know, give a shout out. I see you with the camera, but shout out to Lou Kardowski. We are change. They're all over the country. Uh, in the faces of politicians, asking them the hard questions simply. So I, I urge everyone as a citizen journalist, I have no experience as a journalist, and I didn't have much experience as a writer. Go out and just do it. It takes a little bit of courage, and uh, it's going to get a lot done. Because the more, more cameras we have in their faces, the, the less they're going to do, uh, the less they're going to abuse our rights and abuse us, especially our health.
Thanks a lot, Jeffrey. Is there anything else you want to say? Um, keep doing what you're doing because we will be giving each other voices because I'm using your footage to see what's happening to write my independent journalism articles. <laughs> Great. Is there anything coming up? Uh, you know, with the election right now, it's just been so crazy. You know, we saw Colorado, uh, basically a non-election. And like you said, the mainstream media is, they're really committing suicide. Yeah. But I'm honestly, what I've seen with this election and with the, what's going on now is people are showing their true colors. They're being forced to. And I'm seeing people in, within the mainstream media, if you want to call it that, system, reporters, journalists, that I think for a long time have been just kind of staying quiet because they were waiting for people like you and I and other people to come out and for us to provide cover basically. It takes a lot of people I think to go out there in harm's way before you know it becomes something that the rest of us feel comfortably doing. And if it wasn't for people that had gone before you and I, uh, you know, we wouldn't be here and we wouldn't have this country that we have now. So I definitely, you know, I can't take all the credit I want to thank I want to thank the Luke Radowskis and um, the Alex Joneses and all these other people who have really been trailblazers and and made a path for for you and I and uh, inspired me to take action. So thank you and keep doing what you're doing and hopefully we can talk again in the future. Yeah, we're standing on their shoulders. So thank you all for helping and yes, all those names you mentioned inspired me to do what I'm doing to stand here. So thank you and uh, thanks, thanks everyone else doing this out there. Awesome, thanks a lot.